back to another video and today I'm going to be diamond farming. Last video I did candy farming. Go watch that. But please watch this video too. So, when you're first load into the Royal High, you're going to want to collect this diamond and then up here these two diamonds. And this also works with no multipliers. You just might not, you probably won't get as much as me because I have all of the multipliers. And then you're going to go in here. The green diamond is worth a lot, so you cannot miss this green diamond. And then you're going to want to go inside of here. And then there's three blue diamonds because every diamond counts, even the blue ones, guys. And this is the one I always miss when I'm farming. The one on top of it. The one on top of the carriage. Wait, you, right when you spawn in, you see the guys. And then right on top of it, it's a diamond. And then in the pool, there's also a diamond. In this little lake. If you go up here, there's like diamonds leading. Don't go to breakfast because you don't want to spend all your diamonds. But then you get diamonds. There's diamonds over there. And then there's this run red diamond, which I believe is 20 without multipliers and with all of the multipliers is 120 and all around this here area you get purple and pinks and blue diamonds which are all worth six for me two for nobody and for no multipliers and um and they're worth one for no multipliers and two with the two times multiplier. And then if you go down here, from there, you'll get a green diamond. And then if you're willing to get, and then if you're willing to take a lot of time to get the blue diamonds. And the ones that are worth one with no multipliers, there's one down there. And then you're going to want to get them on the trees. And I'm not going to bother to get these ones, but they do help. So if you don't have any multipliers, recommend getting those. Because I am saving up for the Shadow Empress set, guys. Because I haven't got it in a year. And then there's one up top there. And then if you go inside of school, straight to the left in this fireplace, you're going to want to get the blue diamond there. It's huge. And then if you go inside of the principal office, which is right there, you're going to want to go inside of the campfire. And that gives you a red diamond. And then on the chairs, there's some blue diamonds. And on the red chair, there's red diamonds that are worth one. And then you go there. And I totally forgot to get my books, so let's do it now. And you're going to want to get your books. If you guys are new to the game, this is how you get your books. Yeah, you just go into your locker and get them, and they give you XP during the classes. So that's why they're so important. And then on a lot of the railings, there are diamonds. So, there's a diamond right there on the railing. And then there's a diamond right there on the railing, too. And if you guys have a phone, if you guys have Roblox on your phone or your iPad or something, you might want to do that because diamond farming is much easier because you can just sit in your bed or whatever instead of sitting at a desk. So for baking, all you do is slide the things, you get the book check, your thing, your level goes up, and then you eventually get 300, 400, 300 diamonds, 600 diamonds, or 1,800 diamonds, depending on how much multipliers you have. Keep that in mind, my value will probably be less than yours if you don't have a lot of multipliers. Or if you don't have any multipliers. So, I did just spend a lot of my diamonds on the Batmobile, so that's why I have 80k. It's not a lot, but it's not a little. Okay, so then you're going to want to just press the space ball bar. You're going to want to do this as quick as you can, because right after you're baking, right after you're done baking, you go out of the baking area, and then you can press end baking. It won't, like, 
get a score or anything done. You'll still get an A. And I definitely do recommend doing this in your private server if you have one. Because public servers can be a little annoying because people can steal your diamonds. And then you can just press end baking on the bottom of your screen and take all your cupcakes if you want. And then there's diamonds here, here, inside of the lake. As you can see, I'm collecting them. There's some blue diamonds inside of the lake. And then you're going to want to go in the back of the baking class. Go into this waterfall and then it gives you two red diamonds and one green diamond. And then in this little cubby here, I haven't known about this since I was diamond farming. I've only known about it for like a year now. And then there should be two red diamonds, I mean two blue diamonds trailing into the green diamonds. And there should be a, um, a blue diamond, then a green diamond. I'm saving up a hundred and something. Okay, guys, so. Definitely save up. Because that really helps when you are getting your diamond. Or when you want to buy new sets of things. So I'm going to glitch here, guys. But sometimes you can glitch, but just wait until your next class. Then you'll be perfectly fine. And guys, if you haven't, go watch my diamond. I mean, go watch my... Candy farming fast video. Also, these two methods don't take a while. The candy one just takes, you might get a little less candy, but the things aren't as expensive in candy. So, yeah. For a typing class, you only have to do, like, you only have to do one. But the time just goes faster if you do a few. But then, you can stay on the screen if you want. And then, I'm just going to do it so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Sorry. This might be annoying, but let's do this so that you guys can actually see what I am doing instead of, like, you guys are looking at all the, the other things besides me. And then, there is a yellow diamond right here on the diving board. A blue diamond there on the lower diving board. And then if you go inside of the mermaid chairs, there's three blue diamonds. And three other diamonds, like the, the different color diamonds. And then there's three blue diamonds there. Then if you go over here, there's a blue diamond and a, and a yellow diamond. And then if you go all the way over there to the lighthouse, please take your time and do this because it's a really good diamond. It's a red diamond on top of the light post. And now in the English class, there's even diamonds in here. So you're going to want to go behind these curtains and grab the pink diamonds. Because those are worth six for me. And that's a lot. Well, not a lot, but... So, I just got that wrong, wrong, because I don't know how to spell, um, but, but, you only have to get one right if you're in a private server, so I'm not that worried about it, and also, if you're in a public server, please try to get all of them right if you can, so, yeah, um, I'm trying to level up. And, uh, guys, while you're doing this, you also, it's a good time to level grind. Like, just doing classes, because then you also get diamonds. If you know what I mean. And so, with that, you wait 
Oh, wait, there's one more room that I need to show you guys. The chemistry room has a bunch of blue ones, but the art room is very important. Because you par turn up your flight speed if you have it. Definitely recommend it. And you zoom into your character. And zoom through the, sh the thing. It's a little tricky, but you finally do it. And then you can grab two diamonds. There's two red diamonds. And two green diamonds, guys. Definitely get those. Those help a lot, guys. And after all this, after this whole entire day in class, you go to your apartments. I'll show you guys that part. So chemistry is really easy if you're on a private server because all you have to do, it takes you two seconds to do this if you're, if you're fast. And all you have to do is one level and then you get an A+. Plus and your level goes up. So yeah. And I can show you guys what to do during lunch. Because that will definitely help. So swimming class. I have another thing. For, it's, I have another helpful tip for swimming class. So you're going to want to get the diamonds going up to the dorms. They're on the railings guys. So don't miss those tiny little ones. And then by now... The red diamonds that we got earlier should be responded. And then you can grab those up again. Just not the art room one because that one we got a little later. But swimming, you're just going to want to... I'm glitched, guys. And if you're glitched, just go into dress up. But what I wanted to show you guys... Just going to dress up, guys. That's another hack, but also you can go on the bleachers. Sorry, the screen's all black. Hopefully you guys don't mind. So we just waited at this until that goes to zero. But also, it, the, our green diamonds are probably responding, but not the ones in the art room. So it... it Depends if it's blue diamonds, it's probably like every class. Green diamonds, probably every three classes. And red diamonds, every four to five classes. Those will take the longest to respond. And no, I'm not talking about like the. The different color, the, uh, I don't know, yes, the yellow diamonds are, okay, during lunch, you're going to want to grab all the diamonds you missed, or all the diamonds that responded, that all the diamonds you think you re responded, this is a good time to go check what diamonds responded and what diamonds did not. Because I don't have the exact measurements or the exact time for the diamonds to respond. Because I don't know. But at lunch, I check. And after every class, I check. So, and then grab the diamonds. Okay, now. Right here is a very good resource. Here, for diamonds. Now, after lunch, you only have, like, three more classes until the end of the day. So, you're going to want to do is get at least 10K without multipliers for a day. Might sound like a lot, but it's really not. It well, kind of is, but. It's okay. I know you guys can do it. Um, also, I have school, so I just, it's like, yeah, guys. So, that's why I don't have a lot. My most diamond that I've had is 320K. <laughs> but 
that then I spent it all. So yeah, I was really dumb and I should have saved it up. But mm, things happen, you guys. But then I got 200k back. 20k back. Now we can check the art room, guys. I think it might be responded a little. Maybe not the red ones, though. Yeah, not the red ones. But the green ones are. The green ones are worth 60 for me. And it's a good time to get all the diamonds that you didn't want to get because the classes were starting at lunch, too. So that's what I do at lunch. That's what gets me a few hundred diamonds. A few, like, thousands. Probably gets me 4,000 every school day. I don't know what it gets me. You guys can do the math after this video if you want. Or on this video. I don't care, really. But next class is art class. So, in this class, I have another helpful trick. What you're going to want to do in art class is you only have to paint in one square in a private server and then you get an A+. Plus. Okay? So, yes. Yes, that's, that's, that's what you get. An A+. Plus for anything. Like, in a private server, it's so much easier to cheat on classes, guys. Let me just tell you, it's so much easier to cheat on classes. Like, so much easier to cheat on classes. Okay, but now, our diamonds are responded, some of them. Not all of them, not a lot of them. But the red ones are responded. So we gotta grab those harder on mobile because I don't have shift lock. So you're going to want to grab all the diamonds you missed. Art class gives you a hundred and something seconds. So you're going to want to grab up diamonds. Like grab them. Because this is a really time consuming method. But every school day is 10 to 12. I think it's 10 minutes. Not sure. But every school day is 10 minutes. Or so. I think. So. If you're in a hurry, just do half of a school day. I bet that'll be fine. Like, anything will be okay. You can check your schedule even. Like, you're scheduled to do what to, to know what to do. So after art, we have PE, and that's the last class of the day. So after this, we have PE. Let me show you what to do in PE. Physical education. Okay. So in PE, you're going to want to. Let's smash, get up all the diamonds we can. First of all, before PE starts. You're going to want to diamond farm in between classes as well. And even in classes if you'd like. Hey, look at that. I have a perfect even amount. Okay, PE is next. You're going to want to run over. So you can always go to that baking chair over there. If you don't have faster flight. But you're going to want to take this shortcut, guys. You're going to want to take this shortcut. It helps so much. Because you don't have to do all those other obstacles. You just have to do this. And you can take your time and get all the lovely diamonds. Like... You can take your time, get all these lovely diamonds. Diamonds is all that matters. If you ring the bell, you get an A. On a private server. In a public server, you should probably use your faster flight.
but I definitely do recommend a private server. So if you can, just get a private server. Or get a friend who has a private server or something. Like, that helps so much when you're farming diamonds. Like, how much can I tell you that helps? I can't, like... Oh, before you do that, before you... I forgot to skip to my old diamond farming plan. God. But before you even do anything, before the day ends at school, you're going to want to go into your homework and do your homework. Because it's only these pretty easy bubbles to press. Even easier if you're on the computer. Okay. So all you're going to want to do is press the the buttons on your, the, your screen. And let me tell you how much XP this gets you. A lot of XP. A lot, let me tell you. So, hold on. So, after you do your homework, you want to pass it in. Uh, I think I remember what I have. Is something or something? I have English. This long story short, short. After this, you're gonna want to what? After this, you're gonna want to go to your apartment. But I don't have time to do this in your in this video. So yeah, bye guys. Hopefully you enjoyed.